Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Katie bracelet and this was designed by Radiance Looms on Instagram. I'll have her name in the description box below and I'll bring up her Instagram profile here in just a second. Um, first I want to talk about this design. So um, she did name this after Aerolumi on Instagram whose name is Katie uh, and she wanted me to mention that in the video. So yeah. Um, and this bracelet can look a little bit difficult to make, but it's not that bad. And one last thing, I am sick, so sorry if my voice sounds weird. Um, please excuse that. But anyway, we'll go ahead and look at her profile. So it is Radiance underscore Looms. And this is her account. So you can go ahead and check out her Instagram, like her photos, and give her a follow for me. And we will go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to want is a hook. I'm going to use my double-ended hook here. You're also going to want at least two colors of bands, so today uh, for the zebra in this bracelet I will be using this um, satin evergreen I think it's called. And then for the other colors that I alternated I'm only going to be using one color which is the fireworks green. So to start you're going to make a six loop setup with your satin evergreen color. So it should be pretty simple. You're just going to fishtail one band onto each side of a cap band setup. Okay, and then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and take your first uh, green band. <coughs> you're going to pull this band through the first four loops on your hook. Before you close, you're going to lift these first two that are closest to your hook. And you're going to take the second band and push it over the first. And you're going to push it over the end of the hook. Then you're going to lift that outermost teal band. And then rearrange it to the outside. So now it should look something like this. Then you're going to take your teal band. Pull this through the first three loops. Lift the outer two. Before you close, take the second loop, which is your fireworks green band, push it over the first and over the end of the hook, then you reattach and you'll be back at six loops. So now you're going to turn this around, after every section make sure you turn the bracelet around. You're going to add your fireworks green band again, so you're going to pull this through the first four loops. You're going to lift the two closest to your hook, so it's going to be the fireworks green and the teal. You're going to push the second band, which is the teal, over the first and over the end of the hook. And then you're going to lift that outermost band. Then rearrange so that that green band is on the outside. Or that teal band. And then take your, uh, your other teal band and pull that through the first three bands. You're going to lift the outermost two and push this second loop, which is your fireworks green over the teal and over the tip of your hook and then you can reattach that band again and if you do it right you should be back at six loops so you're going to have three teal and uh, other color which is like your green or if you're alternating colors just whatever color you use and then two more teal so I'm going to turn this around and repeat take a green pull it through the first four lift the first two <coughs> Push the second band over the first and over the end of the hook and lift this outermost band. Move the teal to the outside and take a teal band, pull it through the first three loops. Lift the outer two and push the second band over the first and over the end of the hook and then reattach. Turn it around and at the beginning it's going to look kind of weird it's going to look like you're not creating a pattern at all but the longer you make it um, the more it looks like it's supposed to I'll show you a couple more times how to do this I'm going to take your green pull it through the first four lift the first two and push that second teal band over the first green and over the end of the hook and then reclaim that outermost teal band make sure you rearrange it then pull a teal through the first three, lift the outer two, and push this green 
over the teal and over the end of the hook. Turn it around and continue. One last time, you'll pull a green through the first four, lift the first two, push that second band over the first and over the end of the hook, and pick up the outer teal, then move that outer teal so it is on the outside. Take a teal band, pull it through the first three, lift the outer two, and push the green over the teal and over the end of the hook. So you're going to continue this until it's long enough to fit around your wrist and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So the way I like to finish it off is I pull, well I turn my bracelet around just like I would start a new sequence, but then I would pull a band through the first five instead of the first four. I'll lift these two middle, or the second and third loops technically, then push this band over just like you would in any other sequence, but I'm not going to lift the outside band, I'm just going to close, and then I'm going to take one last band and pull it through all four of those loops and close. So that's how I close mine off, but if you find another way that you like to do it or if this is kind of too complicated, um, just feel free to close it off however you like. But this is what the end result should look like. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have Radiant Slooms names in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram. Give her a follow for me. But for now, that is going to do it for this video, and I hope to see you next time.